now that President Joe Biden has uh, opted against continuing his reelection bid, it creates what is technically an open convention in Chicago next month. He has endorsed Vice President Harris. Uh, there's going to be some closing of ranks that we are already seeing immediately. Uh, but there are party officials, party leaders around the country that want a true open process with multiple candidates. This is quite obviously uh, such a moment in American politics and American history. There's not an obvious precedent. The closest thing to it was 1968, when President Johnson at the time opted after primaries had begun to state that he would not seek or accept his nomination. And that opened up the process for his party. But one thing uh, is clear, the nominee, whether it is Vice President Harris or anyone else, still has to get a majority of the delegates' votes uh, in some official capacity. It is important to note that, that Biden's endorsement of Harris is just a political statement. There is nothing legal attached to it under the Democratic rules. He had secured the delegates by running in the, all of those primaries earlier this year. He can release those delegates. He cannot legally obligate them to anyone else. That said, it is obvious that a sitting president's endorsement is important. President Biden was pressured to rethink this race because of his age and concerns about his viability as a candidate, but he still has a deep well of goodwill across the party and his opinion matters.